Shabbat Shalom. We read Parshat Vayelech on Shabbat Shuva, the Sabbath of repentance, the one and only Shabbat between Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur. Fittingly, this Torah portion deals with sin and repentance, with becoming lost on our way and returning to our true selves. Vayelech is just one chapter, Deuteronomy chapter 31, just 30 verses, sandwiched between the flowery discourse of Nitzavim and the farewell poem of Ha'azinu. In this chapter, Moses prepares to hand over leadership to Joshua. One would think a message of comfort and assurance would be in order. Yet after Moses urges Joshua and the people to be chazak va'amatz, strong and resolute, God informs him that they will fall into idolatry anyway and threatens them with the ultimate divine punishment. We are reminded that the existential turn of teshuva is always open to us. The blessing of Vayelech is the pathway to teshuva, the ever-present possibility of return. No matter how far we've strayed, no matter how extreme our forgetfulness, the existential turn of choosing hope is always, always open to us. No matter what cards we've been dealt, we can choose to open our hearts wide. As Christopher Reeve of Blessed Memory used to say, once you choose hope, anything is possible. In the end of this portion, God instructs Moses to compose a song and teach it to us, to put it in our mouths. Vayelech commands us to set up regular public readings of the Torah so that everyone can hear and learn and come into a state of awe before the great song, the great Torah. The Torah symbolizes the balance that we need between internal and external authority. That's why the final mitzvah that we are commanded is to write for ourselves a Torah. Torah functions as a means of drawing God close, whether we study text, immerse ourselves in prayer, or share a Shabbat dinner. Chazak va'amatz, be strong and courageous as we return to God and go forth into a new year with Torah in our hearts. May it be an easy fast, a wonderful Yom Kippur, and a blessed new year. Shana Tova.